Hey there, welcome to Tom Motion. In this video, it's going to be spiky and electrifying. Yes, we're going to make Zapdos, the second legendary bird that likes to hide in the power plant. If you found the Zapdos figure in my last video, then you found the hint. Good luck finding the hint in this video. When I see Zapdos, I really get rockstar vibes. So, for Zapdos' human form, I was thinking to inspire his design of a rockstar from the early 70s and 80s. Something like Led Zeppelin meets The Cure, means a wild hair, leather, and eyeliner. So, with this in mind, let's make Zapdos. For this custom, I'll be using Monster High Boy Heat Burns. This doll already has a yellow skin tone and pointy features in his face, what will be perfect for Zapdos. But first, this doll needs to switch elements. That means we need to take off his flame hair. Surprisingly, this went very well. Comparing with Dew's snake hair. I'm also going to click off his arms. And store them in a spare hand box. Maybe I can use them for another doll. Who knows? With X-Acto knife, I take off his ears and his nose to make room for a future beak. With nail polish remover containing acetone, I take off his factory painted face and wash it after with warm soapy water. Just like Articuno, I want Zapdos to have bird-like legs and talons. To make these, I first have to solve parts of the legs with a jeweler saw. And to complete the prep, I also make a hole in the lower back with a lino cutter for his future tail. With some pre-made wire, I'm going to give him a beak, new legs, wings and a tail. I glue the wires to the doll with a two-part epoxy glue. And now he looks more like a hummingbird. To fill in the wires, I use two-part epoxy clay. Wearing gloves, I mix part A and B together until I got a solid color. Now I can form new legs, sharp talons, a very long beak, and I fill in the gap in his head to make it even. It still looks like a hummingbird, but we're getting there. After a few hours of sanding, I painted the legs and beak brownish orange and the skull yellow to match the skin tone. To blush the body, I use soft pastels by Schmink. To seal it in, I spray the doll a few times with Mr. Super Clear. Let's jump right in into the face up. I start by sketching in his face with a light colored pencil. Zapdos has very sharp eyes. Kinda like my cloud repaint I did a few months ago. Speaking of that doll, I reached my first goal on Patreon. And as a giveaway, Cloud is going to a new owner on Patreon. So I'm glad Zapdos kind of looks like him. To match Zapdos' colors, I'm going to give him bright blue eyes. <laughs> that pointy beak in the camera looks very funny. <laughs> and now for my favorite part of the face up, shading. I like to use pen pastel powders and a tiny brush. I simply shade the eyes above the pupil. This really brings out the eye colors. And to match this rockstar persona and Zapdos original design, he's getting eyeliner. And now for the question of the day. How did you get into video editing doll videos? Well, into video editing itself, it was through animation school where I had editing lessons. And doll videos tutorials were also through animation school. 
in our last year, we got an assignment to make a workshop for students in lower years. I was very interested in YouTube, so I decided to make a stop motion puppet making series on YouTube. It got kinda popular, but because it was mixed with other videos, I decided to start over, with this time fashion doll repaints only. And that became doll motion, as in doll and stop motion. Do you have a question for me? Leave it in the comment section and maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the repaint. Every rockstar needs some tattoos. So for Zapdos, lightning bolts that come from his neck. I first sketch them with a pencil and fill them in with ink. After that I seal the face and the tattoos with Mr. Super Clear. To give the wings and tails some body, I sew a white stretchy fabric around the wires. Wow, this looks so much better! No hummingbird at all! For his hair, I'll be using acrylic yellow yarn. I like to wrap the yarn around his binder and cut it loose to get perfect yarn size to comb. I bind them to a giant cut-off fly swatter and start combing out the yarn. I make the yarn all shiny and flat with a hair straightener. After that I cut the yarn and glue them to a freezer bag. To make the yarn webs easy to handle. With some loose yarn and some fabric glue I gently glue on two pointy eyebrows for a striking look. And now I go around his head with a hot glue gun to glue on the yarn webs. The last bald spot I cover up with fabric glue and one super weft. I wait one day for it to dry and comb it and cut it in style. I was going for an 80s hairdo, but whatever your parents like you to believe, a mullet is never a good idea. So I went more for a Ford Hokage look. Outfit time! For this I'll be using fake black leather and this bright yellow fabric. I want Zapdos to have this long jacket with spikes in the ends. Well, everything to give him an excuse not to wear a shirt. My first plan was to paint the end of the jacket black, with a small gradient to yellow. But the ink had other plans. So to save the jacket, paint it back to yellow and gave it lightning details. Although this was not as planned, my boyfriend pointed out, this gives the doll more spread of detail. Something I actually needed, because he's going to get big abstract yellow wings. And with this busy jacket, his face won't be the only thing with many details. So an accent can help in the end. And most rock stars like to wear weird jackets. Although all the legendary birds are wearing fabulous poofy shorts, Zapdos is going to get tight leather pants. I'm sewing it around the doll's leg. To finish the pants, I cut this miniature buckle from eBay and made him a belt. Okay, let's tackle Zapdos' tail. To make one, I use felt. I cut another star shape out of black felt. I glue this part into the tail with fabric glue to get Zapdos cone shaped tail. His wings I also made out of felt. To make them stronger, I glued a piece of cardboard between them and glued all the pieces to the wide wings.
for some less detail, I cut off a Monster High lightning bolt earring. I think it was Frankie's. And I glued it to a necklace. Some shine in his eyes and beak and he's done. Well, we got two birds and three to go. I think you already know which bird will be next. I would like to thank my lovely patrons for supporting this channel. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video. Bye!